hey guys what's up it's me so i'm back with another video so for today's video we are going to be doing a mukbang so i'm sorry uh, trying to take off the flash in you but listen i'm trying my best not to but i had to wear a loose fitting shirt because of my tattoo that i got across my chest so you know it's kind of hard to wear like a tight shirt right now to keep my little babies in tack so listen we're all females here if you're not then i'm sorry but you're just gonna have to be yeah you're yeah whatever so anyways i got taco bell i love taco bell i'm obsessed with tacos um so much i love the hard shell tacos i don't know about you guys but that's one of my favorites so i'm just gonna be eating and telling some stories because i have quite a bit to tell you guys so I love the nacho cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so. so I just got regular hard shell tacos, nothing fancy. Just keep it sweet and simple. Anyway, so. I want to tell you about why is it that every time I go outside now I don't know if it's because I live in New York City and the men here are just outrageous but how come every time I go outside even when I look totally busted oh snap my meat just fell out mm. but even when I look busted, men still feel the need to stop me and approach me. And now, I give everybody the time of day. I'm not rude. I'm not rude. I'm not suck up. I'm not prissy. But I kind of already know what they want anyways. Because, you know, most people are after sex. That's it. That's what everybody wants nowadays nobody wants commitment nobody wants friendship people just want to fucking leave that's just how it is right i'm pretty sure you guys know that females you know that <laughs> like i'm not saying every man is like that but majority of the men are and so i know what they're after when they stop me in the street but i'm i still give them the time of day i'm like okay well you never know this could be my prince charming right Oh, I hate how they put so much crap on this taco. I like it with nothing on it, just plain. Um, so, my thing is, if I don't want to talk to you, then that's it. Leave me alone. I clearly don't want to know you, because I already know your intentions anyways. And it's not because I'm a bitch, it's just because I'm smart and I know that people just wanna use me. So when I when I when a female is for all the men that are watching this or might be watching this, when you stop a female on the street and they look like they don't want to be bothered, let them be. Just leave them alone. Find somebody else to bother, find somebody else to get their number because a few days ago listen i was coming home from i don't even know where i was at but i was coming home right i was exhausted and this guy he kept following me in his car but i i was listening to music but i'm still very alert when i'm outside because people like that always stop me the creepy ones and stuff like that so i'm always alert no matter what i'm doing I, but I was listening to music, but I was still looking around, right? So I noticed that this car was following me. So I'm like, okay. And then I heard, my music wasn't that loud. So I heard him screaming at me. He was like, hey, he was like, stop. I want to talk to you. And I'm just like, oh God, it's another one. 
I already knew what was up. I was like, oh boy. Here we go again. So I kept walking. I kept walking away from him, right? Because I knew. I was like, listen, I just want to go home. But he kept driving up closer next to me. Oh! <coughs> Screaming. Trying to get my attention. That happened for about like three minutes. So I was like, you know what? Let me just hear what he has to say. So he was like, oh, you're beautiful. I'm trying to get to know you. He was like, where are you going? You want to hang out? It's hot outside. I could bring you to a hotel, get in my car. Let me get you to a hotel so you can take off those clothes. I know you're hot. Like, excuse me? First of all, what makes you think I'm going to get in your car, dude? Like, I don't even know you, first of all. I'm not trying to get murdered. Like, I'm sorry, what? Um... And then, second of all, by you saying hotel, that automatically gave me the impression that you want to fuck. Because why would a guy that doesn't know you even mention a hotel room in the first place? So I was like, bro, you can't be serious. I was like, no. I was like, I don't. I told him straight up. I was like, I don't know you. I was like, I want to go home. I'm exhausted. Like, he was like, oh, this and that. He was like, just let me. He was like, just let me talk to you. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> and I kept turning him down. I was like, no, dude. Like, fuck off. Like, you have to know when no means no. That just makes me think that when a guy is like that, keeps going, keeps going, even when they know that you don't want to, that's something that is very, very bad because if a man is like that, stay away. Because nine out of 10, if you're doing anything sexual with them, they will force you. And I hate to say it, but it's true. Because if they're already like that in the beginning, they're going to be like that. They're, that's just how they are. They're very persuasive. They don't take no for an answer. So I'm just warning you right now. Lie, for real. Trust me, I've been there, done that. It's not fun. When you say no, you say no. And that's supposed to be it. It's not supposed to be like, oh, let me change your mind type shit. No, that's fucked up. Don't ever do that. If you're a guy watching this, don't do that. That's really shitty. Um, but so this went on for about like 20 minutes, you guys. I swear to God, I don't know why I didn't just walk away and left him. Like, he was pissing me off. And then... Um, He, oh, get this. So this is the most effed up part ever, right? So he offered me money to sleep with him, basically. But that's not how he said it, though. He was like, oh, he was like, you know, he was like, I'm trying to take care of you. What do you need? I could give you money. Yeah, money to sleep with me. You think just because you hand me a couple bucks, I'm going to jump in your car and go to a hotel room with you? No, like... It doesn't work like that. And if you, I, I, I don't know what type of females he's been running into, but I, oh my God, I hope no other female would ever do that. That's disgusting, honestly. Like what? Like for all that, I could just be a porn star and make money. And that would be my job. Why would I take money from a random guy in the street to have sex with? That's not even, that's not like a job. That's like a, what like that's some type of prostitute type shit I don't do that no that was the first time a guy has ever offered me money to have sex with him now that is real thirsty that's on some thirst thirst type shit and that's really disgusting. It really is. 
but that's not the first time that a guy has stopped me in the street you know every single day i go outside guys stop me and it's flattering to know that i'm wanted by someone but i'd rather be wanted emotionally than wanted sexually because all they're seeing is my looks and I mean, I'm not saying I'm an ugly girl, but, and I'm not saying I'm super beautiful, but I'm, I'm me, you know, I'm, I'm not ugly, I'm not pretty, I'm just me, you know, I'm, I'm decent, you know, but, um, <laughs> like I just got stopped today like on my way to get this tattoo I got stopped by a guy like come on can like can I just leave my house without someone trying to have sex with me it's so bad that guys even stop me when I'm with my mom every single day around my area there's construction going on right and these construction guys they're not even focused on their job they're too busy trying to they're too busy trying to get at me mm. this is good every time i go to taco bell i get this drink it's a um, mountain dew boom. something blast but I don't know but you know it's kind of really like starting to get to me in a way this <sighs> is like I don't want to be rude and disrespectful and just walk away but at the end of the day I have that right just like people have the right to stop whoever they want in the street you know um they feel like they have the right to sexually harass me what that guy did was sexually har like was sexual harassment and i could have recorded him and took it to the police like who raised you honestly who who raised you like for real for you to feel like that's okay to do to women it's not But you're just putting me in an awkward position where it's like, uh, like I feel uncomfortable, I feel uneasy. Mm. I could order like 20 of these things. And you know what's crazy? me living in new york city i've never gotten stopped anywhere else i lived in new york besides new york city new york city is just, no matter where you are in new york city you're down you're you're bound to get stopped um because people over here are thirsty and what i mean what i mean by thirsty if you don't fully catch my drip i mean they want the pee okay they want that pee and not that not not that type of pee but the pee that we got the pee that we got okay and it's like honestly i've never gotten stopped anywhere else i lived in new york seriously i really haven't like like i said i'm flattered but it becomes like to a point where it's like i shouldn't have to feel like i'm being sexually harassed um <laughs> like for real it's really sad Sometimes you just gotta tell them no. That's what I'm about to start doing. They ask me for my number all the time. And I feel pressure to give it to them. I don't know why. I shouldn't, honestly. I should be like, um, I'm sorry, but I don't give out my number. Like... Well, that was a little something-something. I still have, like, maybe a taco or so left but I'm not gonna eat it right now because I'm not really that hungry anymore I'm kind of just you know in a type of mood where I just want to 
post these videos get it up and yeah so you know work has been really stressful on top of that um Work has been hella stressful, <laughs> but I'm trying to manage things, honestly. I'm doing my very best. Um, so yeah, I this tattoo was painful, you guys. It was painful. When, when he was hitting that bone, I thought I was going to drop dead in that seat, okay? I was like, oh, God. And he kept going over and over. And he kept saying, oh, we'll be done in five minutes. We'll be done in a second, in a, in a minute. How long is that going to take? I was, like, starting to, like, get ready to punch him out. Like, I was so, I was like, oh, God, I'm in so much pain. <laughs> you know when you're in so much pain where you just want to just fight someone? I don't know. That's me. Maybe I have anger issues. But anyways, so... Yeah, you guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this little story time with my little Taco Bell. I forgot to do a thumbnail, so we're going to do one. Do one with a drink. So, anyways, yeah, so hopefully you guys are staying safe with this whole coronavirus going on. It's starting to get a little bit better in New York. Things are starting to open up. We got pools now. We got uh, zoos now. We got museums now. Uh, we have, well, we have the mall now. We have a lot now. Um, we have food places, but outside dining. Um, we have, um, what else? The parks are open now. We have a lot of things open in New York, and hopefully things are starting to open up where you're at, too. Um, stay safe. Stay away from these guys in the street. Don't go to New York by yourself, because you may get stopped. I promise you. But anyways, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.